What up, AJ Boxing here. We're going to talk about what's happening with Canelo Alvarez and David Benavides, man. As we see, David Benavides is moving up to 175. Fantastic. That's where you should have been your entire career. Me personally, that's what I think. Um, but let's talk about Canelo, man. If Canelo ends up fighting Jaime Munguia, Canelo is a hypocrite. He's going to lose a lot of fans. I, I watched that fight. Because it's very interesting. munguia has got that Mexican style fight. He's got stamina. And he's got that pressure. And he's got that that weird, you hit me, I'm going to hit you back. Right? I I see Munguia getting knocked out just because of his defense. Like, Canelo's way too experienced um, for that kind of silly, silly style of fighting, the defense. You know, it's going to be action-packed. But Canelo will be a hypocrite because he said he doesn't fight Mexican fighters, right? He doesn't fight Mexican fighters. No way. Just to avoid David Benavides. And Benavides is not even full Mexican. Jaime Munguia is 100% Mexican. That dude's Mexican as hell. So I don't know what's going on with Canelo, man. But if you're really looking for that Jermall Charlo fight, you're, you're messed up because you know Jermall Charlo is vulnerable right now with what he's going through, with everything. You know, the past four years, Jermall Charlo is not... He's not a guy Canelo should be looking to fight. Nobody wants to see that fight. Nobody. Nobody. Now, if you're looking at guys like Berlanga, all right. I would love to see that fight because I want to see Berlanga get knocked out. That would be awesome. I would watch that fight. But that fight still doesn't make sense either. Um, Canelo is just avoiding David Benavides. Canelo is avoiding him, and there is a lot of reasons why. I could give like five reasons, top five reasons why. David Benavides' youth, David Benavides' hunger, David Benavides' size, David Benavides' stamina, David Benavides' speed. That's five. I got more. David Benavides' pressure, David Benavides, um, he can take punches. He's been dropped twice in his career. Canelo hasn't, right? But also, David Benavides won those fights, so you can't really say anything about those fights. He came back and won. I just think David Benavides is too much for Canelo, and Canelo team knows it. Canelo team's stamina, Canelo's stamina is horrible. Um, yeah, he looked good against Jermel Charlo, but Jermel Charlo had to move up two weight classes, right? We can't even count that. Look what, he, look what happened against John Ryder. Look what happened against uh, Golovkin 3, Right? Golovkin 3, Canelo was gassing out after the ninth round. I remember that. And Triple G was old, man. He was a 40-year-old grandpa in there. Against John Ryder, Canelo was gassing out. Against Jer Jermel Charlo, he wasn't because Charlo just didn't have size. Charlo was just running around, right? Trying to survive. Get that paycheck. Nothing wrong with that. But Canelo, for, on the other side, man, David Benavides will be too much for him. He will be too much for him. Canelo is older now. Canelo's not knocking guys out. Canelo is not going to stop David Benavides. He will not. And he will lose by points. That's why Canelo is avoiding him. David won't knock Canelo out. Canelo won't knock David out. But Canelo will lose by points by a significant amount. Kind of like the Dimitri Bivol fight, but worse because Benavides is just bigger. He's just stronger. He's just faster. He's just quicker. He's just got that part Mexican in him, him, in him where he's just, I don't know, man. Benavides is, is a scary dude. I would never want to get in the ring with him, man. Even with all the headgear, I don't care. You, you can give me all the headgear you want. All the cushioning you want. I'm not sparring that dude. That's a scary dude. And Canelo feels the same way. That's why Canelo is avoiding David Benavides. And I really hope Canelo fights somebody good next because I really don't see who else. Jermall Charlo? Nobody's going to watch that. Last time he fought Jermell, I watched it on a stream. Hell no, I'm not paying for that. Against Jaime Munguia? All right, I'll give it to you. Against Berlanga, all right, I'll give it to you. But still, you're not going to get the views. You're not going to get the the um, the promotion that Benavides versus Canelo would. Now, 
yeah, Canelo's pretty much stuck right now, man. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like my shorts, like my videos so I can post more, you know. Uh, this is boxing, AJ Boxing.